Hey guys, today's video is my mineral foundation routine featuring the Tribe Minerals Foundation. Now if you guys haven't heard of Tribe before, it is my all time favorite skincare brand. So when they launched these like a month or two ago, I knew I had to have them. I've been using them non-stop and I've actually spoken about them a few times on Instagram stories and I was really surprised at the amount of messages I got from people just asking what is mineral foundation, how does it work, isn't that a setting powder, how is that a foundation and I was a little bit surprised because I I started my whole complexion makeup journey with mineral makeup and I actually didn't try my first liquid foundation until I was like 24 and getting into YouTube uh, which is crazy I know because a lot of people do use liquid over mineral foundation but I actually think if you haven't tried mineral makeup you're kind of sleeping on it and you need to because it is actually really amazing. So when Tribe, my favorite skincare brand, launched their own mineral makeup, I knew I had to get stuck into it and give it a whirl. And guys, it has not disappointed. It is so beautiful. I am affiliated with Tribe and I do have a code with them. So if you guys are wanting to check out any of this stuff, you can use that code. I do make a small commission of it though, just so you know. But these are like genuine thoughts and opinions. So mineral makeup is this literally powdered loose foundation. So you guys know how you have loose setting powders. Well, instead of a loose setting powder, it's an actual foundation. These actually have amazing coverage. I would consider this a medium coverage product, which can be built up to full coverage if you pair it with concealer. I've had a lot of questions to do like no makeup, makeup looks as well. This is the type of product I would use if you're going for that look. I personally like, if I'm wearing makeup, it's kind of like I wear makeup. Like you guys can see it on my face, you know I've got makeup on or I wear no makeup. But for like more casual daytime wear or when I know I've got to wear makeup all day or if I'm just going out for dinner and stuff, I have been absolutely loving the mineral makeup. My mum is 62 as well, so she's a little bit more mature age. Don't shoot me mum for saying that. <laughs> she's 62 though and she loves mineral makeup as well. I personally think it's a lot more forgiving on more mature skin types and people who have lots of fine lines or suffer with creasing and stuff. So if you've been having issues with liquid foundations, I would recommend maybe trying a mineral foundation. So today's video is just pretty much in a nutshell, just showing you guys how I apply it. My little base routine with mineral makeup. I still go ahead and contour and highlight and blush and everything, but I just feature the mineral makeup and just talk a little bit more in depth about how I apply it. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'm going to jump right on into that part of the video. I'm going to go from looking like a little glamazon to a drowned rat because I did my makeup when I had wet hair. So um, excuse the stark contrast, but let's just get into it. Very important to use a moisturizer and an eye cream before you go in with your makeup. I then also prime as well, and I really love the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I actually really like it under mineral foundation as well. Whether it be with liquid, mineral, either or, it works an absolute treat. It's like an extra step in your skincare, to be honest. It makes your skin just feel very hydrated and smooth. So with mineral foundation, the sort of order in which you apply your products is a little bit different to liquid. So because you're working with powders, you need to make sure you pop all your liquid based products down first. So I always go in and conceal first and then apply my mineral foundation. So I'm just going to take my Too Faced Multi-Use Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to conceal like under my eyes and around my forehead and chin, sort of where I usually would if I was wearing liquid foundation. So like I said, you guys can obviously like do as little or as much concealing as you like. It's totally optional. I just really like concealer, so that's what I do. <laughs> now I'm just going to be taking my Sigma Favorites brush set that's by yours truly and just taking the 3D HD blend out of it. There's still plenty of these sets available, so if you guys want to grab one for yourself, I will have the sets linked in the description box for you. But I'm just taking the 3D HD blend out of that and blending out all the concealer. So I have two shades in the Tribe Minerals um, Mineral Powder Foundation. I've got light and light medium. I would really like a fair because for myself personally, I really like to have a highlighted under eye, even if I'm doing mineral makeup or powdered makeup. I really like my under eye to be a couple of shades fairer than the rest of my face. And light isn't too bad, but it's still, it's just, it's not like as light as I would typically love. So my favorite under eye setting powder is Light from MAC um, and it's Mineralized Skin Finish. If you guys can see, there is quite a color difference between the two. So light in the mineral foundation is definitely a lot darker than um, light in the actual in the pressed powder that I used. Um, I'm just going to still use a little bit to set under my eyes though, just so we're using all the same products, if you know what I mean. 
and I'm just taking my tapered F35 brush which comes in my Sigma Favorites brush set and I'm just dipping into the powder and just lightly dusting that around my under eyes. So now I've got my under eyes set, I'm going to go in and do the rest of my base and I'm using the shade Light Medium in the Mineral Powder. And what I like to do is, it has like, it has a little sifter thing in the top, so you just have to twist it so that you have the open holes and I just simply like tap a heap of it into the compact lid. And then I actually use my flat F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma. I just find using just a good old Kabuki brush works an absolute treat. So now I have that mineral powder in the lid. I simply tap, tap, dump, I was about to say dump, tap at the same time. I simply tap the flat Kabuki brush into the powder and then I pat it on my face. So I find this gives like really beautiful light to medium coverage and it's just so comfortable to wear for a daytime um, makeup look. Like I used to always wear powder foundations and mineral foundations back in the day, especially on a daily basis because I just can't handle wearing liquids all day. I find that by the end of the day my skin feels like it's suffocating and um, yeah, I don't like that feeling. So. I much prefer to use powder for like a daytime makeup or you know when I'm working my normal nine to five job and if I want to wear some makeup I will just wear powders. It's much more comfortable to wear like throughout a 10 hour day than liquids in my opinion. And then wherever I have extra pigmentation I simply like layer up the mineral foundation and it gives really great coverage. It honestly just looks so lovely and natural so that's how my skin looks with nothing else on it at the moment. Very natural, but very soft, very flawless, blank canvas, looking the good. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. Um, I can still do like bronzer, blush, highlighting to the gods, like all that sort of stuff, even with mineral foundation. It doesn't change like what other products you can layer on top. It just means that you probably shouldn't go in with creams. You can definitely try it if you want, but rule of thumb is that you don't apply creams over powder, um, so I would say, yeah, probably not. I don't think it'll work, but if it works, you guys let me know. So for bronzer today, I'm going to use the Ambient Lighting Bronzer from Hourglass in the shade Bron Nude Bronze Light, which is that one there. It's a beautiful bronzer. And I'm just taking my F05 um, Small Contour Brush, which comes in my brush set as well. So next up I'm going to also use an hourglass blush and this is a Brilliant Nude and I'm taking the same brush to apply it. And then of course I'm using my favourite highlight and I'm just going to take my F35 tapered brush again and just dust off any of the powder that I use to set my face and I'm going to go in with the Anastasia and Amrizi highlight. This is my favorite highlight. It's like the most perfect gold and it applies beautifully over mineral foundation as well. Skin is looking lovely. Now obviously if it's a daytime look you guys can use less bronzer. Personally I love a bit of bronzer. I feel like even if you're doing like a daytime look it's really easy to do like a nice little bit of a contour moment. So I'm just going to quickly take my precisely my brow pencil in the shade 2 and just fill in my brows. So I might actually jump off camera and do that because that's not interesting and it takes me so long. <laughs> BRB. I accidentally got a fleck of liner on my face so you'd have to ignore that little dot but this is what my skin looks like now that all my products are on. It just it looks so healthy but still has like really amazing coverage and it just feels so much more comfortable on the skin. It's honestly like don't sleep on mineral makeup guys. It's truly incredible. <laughs> so there you have it. That is my mineral foundation routine. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. If you have any extra questions or maybe there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to know about, feel free to comment it below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye!